Hey everybody, it's Mary at Yard Art R Us. How are y'all? I am going to show you guys how to paint a girl elf. This is the third elf. Um, I did two others already. We actually have six of these, three boys, three girls. So I hope you guys are doing well tonight. I'm going to, this has been sitting around y'all, so I got to put a little Windex to it and clean it off and get all the the dust and all that good stuff. So the reason we Windex is if you don't Windex, if this has been sitting around for a little while, you don't Windex it. Sometimes your paint will separate after a while. So y'all let me know if you're here. I see, I can see, I think some folks are here. Hopefully y'all can hang out with me for a little while. This is the best part of my day, y'all. Painting, I haven't had much time to paint today. It's been kind of like one of those days that, I, I don't know, I did everything else that I guess I was supposed to do, you know? So kind of one of those, but to, this is the first time in all day that I've got to sit down and do any painting. So I put some white on these eyes, but I'm going to just kind of put a little bit more because I don't think there's quite enough. Then we'll start, I'll start doing some shading. So what I did on this is I um, base coated white. Everything was white and or primered, I guess you could call that your primer with some white paint. And then just base coated my colors that you see. This is red, yellow. So that's the number 20. That's the number 13. Of course, your flesh is 29. This is shading flesh. That's 30, I think, in our in our uh, little thing. Uh, black hair. And then I did number 11, Christmas green. And did the, uh, the little hands in our light purple, which is 27. And... Um, I'm going to do some shading and typically what I do is I will start, let me move this out of the way y'all, I'm going to start kind of in the middle of this piece and work down towards me and that way I can not hopefully get a whole lot all over me. I start in the middle and work towards my body. Because this elf is, uh, y'all, I think she's 32 inches tall, jeez, I can't remember, uh, might be 32 might be 28 tall, whatever it is. I can't remember. It's not that big of a piece is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to um, use a smaller flat tip brush. It's a number 10. And it's just, a, it's just a regular flat tip brush. It's not a big deal. But when you have a smaller space, you, you tend to want to use a smaller brush. And that way, you don't get as much paint. Now, obviously, if it's a bigger space, and a bigger piece then you want to do more now i need a little bit of water in this brush so i just dipped it over here in some water and then put it close to the paper towel and uh, i don't like to paint with a real dry brush my brushes need some moisture in them and um, i'm actually going to go and just go all the way around the face with this and um, do my shading even around the hair that hair is it's a it's black hair and you'll see towards the end I just put a little bit of white highlights. I don't do a whole lot. So that's why I feel like I can get away with some shading uh, of the face in that area. And a little bit more here. So y'all tell me what you're doing. I'm trying to uh, this was the uh, I meant to get on here earlier today, but you know my day kind of got away from me. And uh, I spent a lot of time on the computer which I really needed to do. But I don't enjoy that as much as I enjoy doing this. And we have a lot of stuff for Christmas that we, we typically try to do all of that in July. So uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of actually myself a lot in the month of July. Now, later on in the, in the fall, you don't see as much. There's two reasons for that. Um, one is we want to do all of this stuff really early to give you guys plenty of opportunity have a long time to get your holiday stuff done because it may take you a while and um, that's why we will do and of course y'all know we paint year round as far as Christmas goes but it takes us that long to do that and I'll come in here and just kind of do some brush strokes okay now around the eyes I'm trying to see what I did I, I have a picture here y'all because without a picture I can't remember what I did you would think after as much as I painted that I would remember everything that I painted but y'all I really don't I really don't remember uh, what I did from time to time. So I'm going to put a few, a little bit of, of uh, around her eyes. When we design these elves, I, I don't know if y'all, if you've been paid attention, but we designed them spe 
can't talk today. Specifically, that all three eye shapes would be different from each other as far as, you know, the three girls and the three boys. Because uh, we wanted them to look a little different, you know, to kind of look like they might be in a set, but you don't want them looking identical either. So uh, we definitely on this one, we did what I would kind of think of as an almond shaped eye on this one. Now, let's do some yellow up here on the hat. We can do that. All right. And I've just got my shading yellow. And I'm going up here on these little points, and I'm just kind of going up and down. Following that, uh, a lot of times I just put the shading color next to the adjacent color. In this case, the adjacent color is red. So I will put my shading color next to the red. And um, I just keep using the same brush over and over because I just wash it out and then dry it off a little bit and I'm good to go. All right, so let's do some red. Let me get my shading red, y'all. Got my brush. I'm, gonna, I'm kind of pushing it down here to get those bristles to fan out a little bit. And I'm going to do this. Now, this is a bigger area, so I'm going to put a bigger stroke in this area. Don't say what I did on, like on the face or the yellow part. I'll just kind of do something like that. And maybe something like that. Then I'll come down here. I'm going to not do anything on the tongue, y'all, because that tongue, it's, uh, it's pretty small. So, but uh, we will having a lot of elves this year we always have a lot of elves every year but this is the first year we've done these elves these are new designs for us those of you that follow us like on our uh facebook pages and stuff i think y'all could tell i was working on templates today because i was posting them kind of as i was going got some cute ones for christmas all right so i got all my red i'm gonna put this up here i'm gonna wash my brush out and let's see i think the next thing i'll do is that green so i've got my my shading green right here and on this i don't do anything major i just kind of go around the perimeter of the box a little bit that's it now if you have on a cricut or you know how to do hand lettering or anything like of that sort you could always put a little word on here a little merry christmas or a kid's name i'm not going to do that tonight but a lot of times at the store i put names on things yeah, and I might come in here and just kind of give it a little bit of personality like that. Just some brush strokes. So I've got my shading green done. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Can you do me a favor? I hadn't even talked about this, but we do sell this blank, y'all. Can you put the link for the blank, Debbie, and maybe even the link for the template? Debbie always takes care of me. Um, for some reason, when I'm going using StreamYard, it's not, I, mean, I don't know if I'm just being ridiculous, but I can't find a way to, to put stuff on here as far as links. So it could be operator error, y'all. <laughs> Probably is operator error. Now, notice that my lines here are not too, too perfect, and I'm really not going to worry about that because I'm going to come back later and fix all that. And I'm just putting a little bit of paint here for her, for her little mittens or gloves or whatever you call them. I really don't know what the difference is, y'all, and, um, and a mitten and a glove. Debbie says, haircut for you. Yes, I went and got it cut, chopped off today. Basically, I've always colored my hair, and today I told her no more color, just put some highlights in it. And so that's what we did. Y'all, I'm really almost white-headed, but I still have some color left on my hair from, you know, me growing it out. And uh, she put some highlights in it. The thing about highlights, if you feel like you don't want to go back and get highlights, you don't really have to. But if you color your hair, you're going to either have to color it or, you know, you get that big, what do you call that? Uh, I don't know. I call it the skunk line where you see, um, you know, my gray hair. Y'all, I'm pretty gray. Pretty, pretty doggone gray. And in some cases, not even gray. White. So... Well, I had a birthday here the other day, y'all, so I'm 57. I'm not one of these that freaks out about my age. That's just, nah, that's not me. 
And the way I look at it, there's a lot of people who don't live to be 57 years of age. So I'm just grateful I made it this far, y'all. All right. Y'all, I think I've done all the shading. See how easy that is? Yeah, I think I have. So now we're just rocking and rolling, y'all. Uh, Terry says, I love that elf. So do I. Terry, I don't know what it is about. I, I, maybe it's the fact that elves are like kid-like and there's just an innocence about them, you know, that I've always loved that. And you probably can tell because like if you go to the store at Christmas, there's always lots of elves everywhere. But uh, love them, love them. And um, so this year we designed six new, three boys, three girls. This is the first year we've done these. But honestly, y'all, uh, that's it. Kid-like. Yep, you got it. You got it. So, Terry, tell me how your husband's doing. I've been saying a prayer for him off and on all day because I've kept i been keeping up with y'all, uh, obviously, on your post. Uh, sounded like, you know, he was uh, really kind of hopefully getting good health care, but uh, hopefully, you know, he's holding his own or, or improving or getting better Been praying for y'all. And, um, but yeah, love, love, love the elves. So this is the first year we've had these three. And the thing about it, you know, it's a good design whenever you can sell uh, something like this for probably, I don't know, 15 years. Some, some of the designs I've had, I have literally been painting them since I started years and years and years ago. Just got out. I see you. Yes, 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 yes. Well, if they let him out, Terry, I'm taking that as a good sign. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. That's good. So, um. I don't know, you know, going to the hospital, of course, whoever wants to go to that place, but thank God we have them, y'all. I don't know. Uh, you know, you kind of have that love-hate relationship with the hospital. You love it if your loved one is there, if they're sick. <laughs> you hate it if you're the one having to be stuck at the hospital and being sick while you're there. Because you know they don't let you get no sleep. They're always taking your temperature and all of that kind of stuff. And then they say, get some rest. How are you going to get some rest with all the noise that they make and all the coming in and doing this and doing that and taking your temperature and your blood pressure and all that. And I'm thinking it's three o'clock in the morning. Why do you have to take my blood pressure? But you know, I'm not a medical person, so I'm sure they do it for a reason. What that reason is, I have no idea, but I would think you'd want some sleep here. Oh, a couple years back. I don't know. I say a couple years, you know, when you're getting older, time goes by very, very fast. I'll probably come home tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. That's awesome, Terry. That's so awesome. So, 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 so exciting. Because I know that y'all were concerned, as you should be, you know, with everything that was going on. Yes, yes, yes. And so, y'all, a couple years back, uh, I was probably, maybe it's about four years ago, and I got sick in the middle of the night. And y'all, I live on Dixie Farm Road here in Pearland. We're just right down the road from a local hospital. And I was sick during the middle of the night and, you know, very sick, never had felt this way before kind of thing, very nauseous, vomiting, all that kind of stuff. And Bruce, of course, can sleep through World War II, three, four, and five, all in the same place. And after about four hours of me just, you know, up and down and all of that, I finally woke him up and said, you need, it was probably about four in the morning. And I said, you need to take me to the hospital. He's like, what's wrong? I said, I don't know what's wrong, but I said, I've never felt like this before. So something is wrong. Hey, that's one thing about getting older, y'all. Have y'all noticed that as you get older? Hey, Holly, how are you? Terry says, thank you, Terry. You're so welcome. Um, as you get older, one of the good things, because there's some not so good things, is that you get a little more insight about your body. And I knew something was wrong because I had never felt this pain before. And of course, like I said, I was hugging the toilet and all that kind of stuff, throwing up, not to be indelicate. But uh, so he's like, why didn't you wake me up earlier? I was like, well, I wasn't sure. You know, sometimes you just think, OK, this is going to go away. So we go over to the hospital and to their credit, you know, we went over there like at four in the morning. And the nurse that looked at me asked my husband, because I was pretty out of it. How long has she been this way? And Bruce is like about four hours. She's like, four hours? He's like, yeah. And uh, man, they all started, you know, what they do, testing this and that and putting an IV in you and, you know, making you go down to this 
testing facility or this room or that room and all that kind of stuff. And they said, hey, we're fixing the, uh, turns out you need surgery because my appendix was really bad. And I just remember, you know, when you're real sick, you're kind of out of it. I remember crying to Bruce and saying, I don't want my appendix out. I just want to go home. <laughs> He's like, well, you're going to go home after surgery. And so, you know, I'm grateful that I could go to the hospital, that I have insurance, that they figured out, you know, very quickly. They did not mess around. They could probably tell I was in a bad way. And, you know, within, I don't know, an hour or so, they were like, here's what we're going to do. Here's why we're going to do it. You know, that kind of thing. Of course, came home the next day, I think. And um, so when you have to go to the hospital, you just don't want to go. But gosh darn it, there's just times you just have to. And um, you're grateful that they're there, but you hope you never have to go to them as far as the hospital, right? So very blessed y'all to have health care that I have. And I'm very blessed to be as healthy as I am. You know, as far as I know, I'm healthy. And um, so I, I don't take that for granted. I truly do not. Uh, you know, my kids, when they were kids, just being kids, and they would laugh and say, Mama, you have chicken legs because I have skinny legs. I was like, hey, they work. As long as they work, it's all that matters. And that's my attitude, you know, as long as they work, that's really all that matters. Because there's a lot of folks that aren't as blessed, you know, in that regard. All right, y'all, I'm putting a lot of pain on here, but she's starting to look cute. Who doesn't like an elf? Okay, let's see. Yeah, I did outline her gloves, too. Because this piece is kind of small, you got to be kind of careful with the brush and not overpower that with too much black paint, y'all. Can't overpower it too, too much. And so I'm kind of lightening up the uh, the pressure. I'm not very going very deep, not putting very much pressure on this brush. Yes. Going to outline her right here. Yeah, that's it. Starting to look cute, y'all. Thank you, Debbie, for posting both of those. I really appreciate that. Because a lot of times, you know, uh, I'm always surprised at our videos. Like, I'll go back and look in like another week or so, and we'll have a lot of views. And if people have to go hunt and peck and look, but if they can just look in the comments and they can see, you know, that the template is available or the blank is available or what have you. Y'all, we're spoiled. We don't want to have to go hunt and peck and look. I don't want to. I know that. I mean, I will, but I don't want to. Okay. We'll come on down here. Ashley's going to be on tomorrow. She's going to be doing the snowman, the cute little snowman. And um, I'll just put some black striped or black brush strokes here she'll be on tomorrow doing that let me push this up a little bit further i still got to do her hat up there y'all i'm gonna put some black down here kind of make it really stand out against that pink come down here like this i've asked before but how do i get you on my kajabi app you know um I looked into that, Holly, and I thought I responded, but maybe I didn't. I think if you just go into Kajabi and you should be able to. Um, I'm trying to remember because I did this. When you go in there, you should be able to add a membership. Let me see if I can find it again, Holly, and screenshot that because you're probably not the only one who has that question. Because I thought I responded to you, Holly, but honestly, maybe I forgot. But I will look in that tonight. I've looked in emails and tried to add you, but I don't know. I, I'm not sure either. But let me go in there and check it out again. I know I looked at it. And I remember thinking, oh, okay, this is how you do it. But I will screenshot that and, uh, and send that to you. Because uh, that's a good question, Holly. 
Because I, uh, I think I have, when I go into Kajabi, of course I have Yard Art Academy, but there's another group that I'm in. And I think I have both of them on there. <laughs> no problem, Holly says, thank you. Well, thank you for your patience, Holly. Uh, Leticia says, I had my appendix removed too, but I went slight pain. Then the doc said, okay, surgery in the evening for you. I know. You're just like, hey, I, honestly, when I went to the doctor, I thought they're just going to give me medicine and let me go home. That's really what I thought. Well, no, that didn't happen. And, you know, I was so out of it. And, you know, when you're sick, you're just kind of like not in your right mind. I just remember Bruce, I guess they broke the news to him and then he broke the news to me. Because all I really remember is him telling me that I had a bum appendix, that they were going to have to take it out. You know, it wasn't going to be a, a huge deal, but it was surgery and that I would stay at the hospital until was, everything was done. And I just kind of had my head set in my head that I was going to come home. And I remember crying to him and said, well, you need to talk to them to change their mind because I need to go home. <laughs> OK, she says, I'm in other groups and it seemed to just add me automatically. OK, that's good to know, Holly. I'm going to check that out and see what I can figure out because I'm like you. We need to look through that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And I just remember crying to him and saying, well, you need to talk to the doctor and tell him to let me go home. He's like, honey, you're not going home. You know, you're. And then, of course, later on, he's like, why didn't you wake me up a lot sooner? And I was like, I don't know, because you just don't, you know, when you get sick like that, your first thought isn't, oh, my gosh, my appendix is messed up and I need to go to the doctor or I need to go to the hospital. I mean, you just don't think like that. You just think, oh, OK, I got the, you know, food poisoning or I got the bug or the whatever. Uh, it's going to get better. And of course, mine didn't. But I knew after about three or four hours, I had never felt this way before. And I had never felt the pain that I had felt. So I knew I, something wasn't right. I didn't know exactly what, y'all. But I found out when I got to the hospital. Well, actually, they found out and told me. I just remember crying to Bruce saying, I don't want to do that. I want to go home. He's all like, yeah, everybody here wants to go home. <laughs> Get over it. I'm like, but, 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 you know how that goes, y'all. And uh, but, you know, I, I, I tried to play, uh, you know, try to have a good attitude about it could have been a lot worse. I think I stayed one night or two. It wasn't a long time. So, you know, I was like, could have been a lot worse, y'all. And uh, fortunately, it's one of those things you can live without. You don't have to have your appendix. So, you know, hey, could have been a lot worse. But I can say that when I woke up from surgery, even though I was kind of groggy, my pain was gone. So. You know, it's really all that matters because when you're in pain, that ain't good, y'all. I'm just kind of putting some white highlights wherever I think they would look good on this little girl. And you can tell there's I mean, you do your base coating, obviously. And um, but really, there's not a whole lot to this little girl, but she's cute. Let me see. OK, I think I've got it. Brian, how are you? You know, Brian, I called you last weekend and we were over there. Well, it wasn't last weekend. It was last week. Can you believe I went to three different places to see about getting a uh, renting one of those uh, four wheeler thingies, whatever you call them, golf carts? All three places that I stopped at said they had been booked up. And the last guy I stopped there, I said, well, how long have you been booked? And he said, I have been booked since February. I was like, oh. OK, so Bruce and I went to Galveston last weekend thinking we're going to ride on the beach on uh, Crystal Beach on a uh, golf cart. Mm, no, no. Oh, they had been booked since February. Mm. Leticia says she's so cute. Yes, 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 yes. I think she's precious. And um, we have her and then two other girls as a set of three or you could just get, you know, just her. And uh, she's the one holding the present. And then I did one. The other day on holding the stocking and the first one was on hold, holding an ornament. So thank you all for joining me. Ashley will be here tomorrow and uh, she will be doing the uh, snowman. And then all in the month of July, you're going to be seeing a lot of us off and on because we're doing Christmas in July. So we got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, and then in August, we'll be doing fall. So thank you all for hanging out and um, y'all let me know uh, if you need anything. Holly, I have not forgotten you. I'm going to go in there and check right now and see what I can figure out on that. And y'all take care. We'll see y'all later. Bye bye.